In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 women throughout history who had virgin births. Throughout history, there have been isolated accounts of women who have claimed to have had unassisted or miraculous births through the power of prayer, thought, or particularly vivid dreams. Welcome back to FDD Facts. I'm Sarah Carvalho, and today we'll be looking at 10 women throughout history who reportedly had virgin births. Now, stick with me all the way down to the end because some of these accounts are absolutely unbelievable. Starting off at number 10, we have the story of the Chinese virgin birth. In 2019 in China, a woman was brought into hospital with abdominal pains, which were then diagnosed as labor pains. The woman refused to accept the diagnosis as she was a virgin and had never had a boyfriend. Before she gave permission for a cesarean section to deliver her baby, she insisted that doctors carry out a virginity test, which of course they did, although the results were never made public, so it still remains a mystery. Up next, we have the story of the Indian virgin birth. Ravati Brawakar from Ahmednagar, India, suffers from a medical condition which prevents her from having intercourse. This condition causes her private area to clamp shut when touched and actually prevented her from conceiving naturally. She and her husband turned to doctors for help to have a child and were actually able to conceive due to medical procedures or thanks to a medical procedure. Since she had the baby without ever having intercourse, many agree that she had a virgin birth. Up at number eight, we have the story of the French noble woman. In 1637, Madeleine de Vermont gave birth to a healthy baby boy, but her husband had been absent for four years. Well, Madeline's husband was a nobleman, and at stake was her newborn son's right to inherit his father's title and land, as well, of course, as Madeline's reputation and even potentially her life. In court, she claimed that she had just thought about her husband at night, often having vivid dreams and fantasies about him. She claimed that the child had been conceived through the power of imagination. Now, theological experts testified in court that this could actually be possible. Somehow, the court found in her favor and her son was declared to be the legitimate heir to his father's estate. All right, we have a big science-y term coming up next, human parthenogenesis. In 1995, British geneticists reported the first case of partial parthenogenesis. True parthenogenesis requires a self-fertilizing female egg, which technically humans are not able to do. But when geneticists studied the blood of a three-year-old boy, they discovered that his cells contained only XX chromosomes instead of the expected XY chromosomes that that males usually carry. Normally, a child will receive X chromosomes from both the mother and the father, but the child's X chromosomes came exclusively from his mother. Researchers believe that the child's development started when an unfertilized egg self-activated and began to divide on its own. It was only much later that the egg was fertilized by a sperm, which allowed it to develop into a full-term baby. So while the child as a whole had a father, According to its blood, it did not. All right, and next we have the story of the Italian nun. In 2015, an Italian nun who had been living in a closed order for two years developed stomach cramps and collapsed at the convent in San Severino. The 31-year-old nun was rushed to the hospital where doctors told her she was in labor. She is reported to have said, I can't be pregnant, I'm a nun. Despite this, she gave birth to a healthy boy who she named Francis in honor of the Pope. The local priest, in a display of some kind of strange support, said, Well, if this nun says she was unaware of the pregnancy, then we must believe that she's telling the truth. Hmm, I wonder if the priest had some strange involvement in this story. And at the halfway point, coming up at number five, we have the story of the serpent-loving queen. The night before her marriage was to be consummated, Olympias dreamt that she had been hit by a thunderbolt, which then started a great fire around her. Her husband, Philip, meanwhile, dreamt that he had sealed his wife's body up with sealing wax into which he pressed a seal in the shape of a lion. Now, some mystics interpreted the dreams as a sign that the queen would become pregnant and would bear him a son with the courage of a lion. Now, on their wedding night, 
Philip had discovered a snake sleeping in his wife's bed with her, which had scared him to the point where he wouldn't sleep with her or even be intimate with her. So it seems that they never consummated their marriage. Now, Olympias is said to have miraculously given birth to Alexander the Great less than a year after her and her husband had had those dreams. Moving on to the Civil War bullet baby story. During the American Civil War, a girl, her mother and sister who lived near the battlefield often stood on their porch waiting for an opportunity to help the wounded. A military doctor witnessed a young soldier being shot near the lady's house. He watched as the man fell and he also heard a scream from outside the lady's house at about the same time. The bullet had actually passed through the soldier's scrotum taking with it part of his testicle. After exiting the soldier, it continued on and hit the eldest daughter in her abdominal cavity. Now, the doctor was in a rush and he had time to give her only a cursory examination before hurrying back to the battle. When he returned a few months later to check on her, he was pleased to see that she seemed to have made a full recovery, but was shocked to see that her abdomen had become enormously large. Now, approximately 40 weeks after sustaining her injury, the the young woman gave birth to a boy, to the amazement of the doctor, her family, and even the girl. The doctor even asserted that before the delivery, he had observed the young lady's hymen to still be intact. Up at number three, we have the story of the IVF virgin births. While science has now shown us that intimacy between a man and a woman are no longer a prerequisite for pregnancy. Since 1978, many have successfully had children through IVF, including single women who are virgins. In 2016, it was reported that 25 British women who had never had intercourse in their lives were given IVF and went on to have virgin births. All right, now let's check with the story of Sister Josephine Rosenthal. When Sister Josephine Rosenthal was found to be pregnant in 1742, her fellow nuns at her isolated convent were speechless. Their confusion grew even greater when a medical examiner declared that not only was she still a virgin, but that she was actually physically unable to bear children. However, at six months pregnant, she was examined again and was positively declared to have undergone some kind of immaculate conception. Josephine passed shortly after giving birth and the baby named Maria was cared for by the nuns who believed that she had been sent by God. And up at number one, we have the Virgin Mary. Of course, this list would not be complete without mentioning perhaps one of the most famously known virgin births. A doctrine of traditional Christianity, Jesus Christ had no natural father, but was conceived by Mary, a virgin, through the power of the Holy Spirit. The doctrine that Mary was the sole natural parent of Jesus is based on the infancy narratives contained in the gospel accounts of Matthew and Luke. It was universally accepted in the Christian church by the second century and it remains a basic article of belief in the Roman Catholic, Orthodox, and most Protestant churches. Muslims also accept the virgin birth of Jesus. All right, friends, that brings us to the end of today's video on 10 women who had virgin births. Let me know in the comments below which of these virgin birth stories did you find the most shocking or unbelievable. And as always, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you right back here next time for more facts. See ya!